here I have this scene with player, enemy, and bunch of obstacles added. Let's start with setting up the scene for pathfinding. First, add a navigation region to the in your scene and move all of the obstacles under it. Then select the navigation region to the node and create a new navigation polygon from here. Then we're going to draw the polygons around the obstacles. And once the path is closed, Godo will automatically pick navigation polygon. Next, we're going to change the agent size in the navigation polygon depending upon the size of your enemy. I will set it to 50 so that the enemy doesn't get stuck between the obstacles. Next, let's add a navigation agent to the node inside your enemy and make sure to enable the avoidance option inside it. Then, in the enemy script, create a variable for the move speed of type float and let's give it a default value of 200. Then, we're going to get the reference of the navigation region inside this script and let's rename it to nav agent to keep it simple. Then in the physics process, create a new variable named current position and set it to the enemy's global transform dot origin. It is going to be of type vector2. Next, create another variable with name next path position and set it to nav position. And let's create the last variable new velocity and set it equal to current position dot direction two and pass the next path position in the parentheses. This returns the direction from the current position to the next path position. And finally, we're going to set the velocity of nav agent equal to this new velocity variable. Next, we're going to connect the velocity computed signal of navigation agent 2D to the enemy script. And then inside the callback function, set the enemy's velocity to velocity.move the word with safe velocity multiplied by move speed inside the parentheses as the first value and 12 as the delta value. You can change this delta value however you like. This whole line makes the enemy smoothly move towards the target. And then at the end of this function, call the move and slide method. Now, to actually move the enemy towards player, we need to set the target position of nav agent to the player's position. We can do this in a function named update target position with target pose as the parameter and set the nav agent's target position to this target pose. And lastly, we're going to call this method at the end of physics process with player.globaltransform.origin as the target position. And this is how you can create enemy pathfinding AI in Godot.